welcome to my channel and I am super excited for today's review as I am going to be talking about one of my favorite horror films, the 1982 Poltergeist. So it may come as a surprise to some of you who have been here for a while that I consider this one of my favorite films as I have talked about in the past that hunting possession type films aren't exactly my favorite but this is just a film that still holds such a special place in my heart. It's a film that I saw at probably a far too young of an age and some of the scenes in this film just still get to me, especially the damn fucking clown. So for those of you who don't know what Poltergeist is about, it focuses on this family of five, the feelings who just recently moved into this new neighborhood which was actually developed by the company that the father Steve works for and pretty soon after they move in some ghostly poltergeist activity starts to happen seemingly pretty friendly at first kind of innocent activity some kitchen chairs moving around and piling up on a table uh, scene which I believe was done in one take which is pretty awesome but then when night falls things take a bit of a dark turn with the poltergeist actually going after the two youngest children through their darkest fears. The son being attacked by the tree outside his window while the youngest daughter Carol Ann being sucked into this other realm through her closet. The family then discovers that they're actually able to communicate with her through a television and so they end up calling on some parapsychologists in attempts to try and rescue their daughter. Now this movie definitely has good and bad moments. Some of the effects haven't quite necessarily held up through the years. Specifically one scene that I found definitely kind of cheesy um, upon rewatching this again was a scene where they take the parapsychologist in and they show them Caroline's room which they no longer go into and there's all these objects that are floating and they start like kind of coming out of the room to go towards and start kind of flying out of the room and that scene definitely does not hold up as well anymore. It definitely feels pretty cheesy when you're kind of re-watching it now. Um, but there are definitely some scenes that still hold up that still freak me out. One scene in particular where the mother's body is being like dragged up a wall and across the ceiling. That part still definitely freaks me out. Any kind of dragging scenes like that, body morphing scenes like that. Oh, still always get me and that one it definitely does. There's also a scene where one of the parapsychologists is in the bathroom and he's looking in the mirror and his skin starts to fall apart in his reflection and he thinks it's actually happening to him and then it stops um, and you know you realize it wasn't real but that scene is so disgusting and creepy and I love it um, and yeah those are definitely two scenes within this film that I de that I think hold up to this day. Um, this film also has some pretty funny parts in it. Uh, it's definitely a very lovable family that you're dealing with. You know the parents aren't great. They, they do make some of not the greatest decisions throughout the film but that makes them very relatable and very lovable. Um, and yeah there's just definitely some very very funny lines in this film. One of my favorites actually coming from this kind of I guess medium that they hire to come in and rescue their daughter and fight off the poltergeist in which they are the mother and her are debating which one of them is going to basically go into this portal to try and rescue Carol Ann and they have this bit of a debate about it. And yeah, I just love that film. It's hilarious. And you definitely realize that this medium isn't exactly all that she's hyped up to be. Um, as well as her claiming that this house is now 
clean uh, when some definite paranormal activity still continues after she leaves. All in all, I think that this is still a fantastic film. I do think that in general it does still hold up and I think it does deserve the title of a classic horror film. So if you have seen Poltergeist, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, do you love it as much as me or do you find it kind of cheesy? And if you did enjoy this review, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button for more horror related content. And before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to know the perks to being a patron, links are in the description below along with all of my social media. And I'll see you guys later with another video.